everyone, my name is Suyin and welcome to my channel. So here at Suyin On, we talk about all things investing and money related. And today I wanted to start a new series and this is called Investments on Autopilot. So this is episode 1 and today we're going to be talking about the peer-to-peer -peer lending platform which is available in Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore of course. So it is called Funding Societies and we are going to jump right in. So I guess before we jump right in, I want to remind everyone out there to click on the closed caption option down below if you like to watch videos with subtitles. If I actually start to input my own subtitles, it will take me much longer to upload. So thank YouTube for CC feature and definitely use it if you are up for it. And also, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Really nice to have you here and I hope you click subscribe so you can tune in for more videos. And for all of those who are returning to this channel, welcome back. Okay, so let's jump right in. I wanted to segment this video into a couple of different segments. So the first segment that we'll be talking about is why. Why does funding societies exist? And I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and it's to me at least, it's because that they want to create opportunities for two particular entities. One entity, it's us as investors, so that we can have an option to invest our money and grow it to achieve decent rate of returns. And also the other category would be business owners who don't really have access to traditional financing or who don't have access to traditional loans from the bank, because it does get pretty difficult for banks to lend businesses money. They need to look at a bunch of different criteria and obviously it is really difficult and if they can get financing, they might get it at a higher interest rate. So it's too expensive. So I believe funding societies exist to connect these two partners together and hence there is the platform. So we're gonna move into what. What does funding societies do exactly? I'm gonna talk from the point of view of the investor because that's what you and I are and we as investors have an opportunity here to invest our money with funding societies and I will have a review section definitely and also a verdict section. So as investors, funding societies gives us an option to lend our money to businesses. They come in the form of two types of different notes that Funding Society hosts. So the first available note is called invoice factoring. So it sounds complicated, but we know one of the words here, which is invoices, which is, let's say I sell a product, could be a good or a service to somebody. So I sell the product and in exchange, sorry about that phone call. Uh, where were we? Alright, we were talking about what invoices are. So an invoice is actually when you sell a product, a good or a service to somebody and in exchange, they give you money, right? I always seem to have just 20 bucks in my wallet. So they give you money in exchange and invoice just means a receipt, I guess. That is usually what happens, right? However, sometimes when we sell a good or a service, we may not actually get money in exchange immediately. Sometimes there are a period of time that needs to pass before our customers actually pay us money. So in exchange for the good that we have sold, we issue an invoice. An invoice saying, oh, you bought this good or service from us and you owe us this amount of money. So the invoice is issued and if the customer has not paid, us money in return, we call that a receivable, meaning you actually are going to receive money at a later date. So you have already sold the good or service, but you have not received the money. So now that is called a receivable, okay? So what Funding Society does is they have invoice factoring as notes that you can subscribe to and that you can invest in. What they do as a, a business or the businesses who are issuing those invoice factoring notes, they are actually taking the money from investors first. So as an investor, I will give the business cash that I invested and in exchange, they are actually 
giving the investors the receivable as an invoice factoring. So I'm just explaining this in whatever simple way that I understand this. I could be wrong, but if I'm wrong, please let me know. I would like to find out as well. So as investors, we get the invoice factoring uh, and the business gets their instant cash. So what they're going to do with the cash is anything that they want with it, whether they're going to invest in capital expenditure, whether they want to pay off debts. Uh, I think it really depends. And you can find out what they're using the money for in the fact sheets provided by funding societies. And later on, the businesses will actually pay the investors back their money with interest. So that is an invoice factoring note. I'm going to be very honest here. I don't invest in invoice factoring notes for the reason that I can just be completely biased here. As a business, I believe that depending on the industry that they're in, of course, if they're really good at managing their business and managing their cash flow, they wouldn't have that much receivables, meaning people owing them money when they've already sold the good. So because of that, I don't really put my money in invoice factoring notes. I put my money in the second option. So the second option is a note called business term financing, and it's just a fancy way of saying a business loan to the businesses. So investors lend their money to the businesses and the businesses go on to do whatever they want with the money or with the loan. That's where I put my money in the business term financing notes and yeah, my logic can be way off, but let's just see how it goes in a review. So we've come to the review section of this investment on autopilot series. And let me tell you all the pros first, what I like about funding societies. What I like about them is that they actually have a whole number of different options for us as investors. Like I said, there's the first type of note, which is invoice factory, and the second type of note, which is business term financing. They host a lot of different uh, notes throughout the year. Some statistics that I can share with you is that according to the website, they have done about 800,000 different notes. That means 800,000 different loans, opportunities for investments that they have created I don't know since when, I, I can check it out, I guess. But that just means that there are options for us as investors. And I do like their interest rates. It's pretty high. Right now I'm sitting around 13% annualized returns. So it's quite high in terms of what you get in exchange, but we'll get to the cons section a little bit later. So another pro is that they have this feature called the auto bot investment and what you can do is you can create an auto bot and you have a number of filters that you can tick off such as how much minimum and maximum you would like to invest per note and also you can select the different types of categories of industries that you would like to invest in so there are things like construction trading goods I'll show you what the interface looks like so you can get a better idea of what the filter is like. So obviously there are cons to that as well. I'll discuss that a little bit later. And you can create multiple auto bots. So you can create one for business term financing and you can create one for invoice factoring. And I hear there is another category of notes coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. The next thing that I really like about funding societies is that they provide a fact sheet. So a fact sheet contains information about the businesses that we are putting our money into. So before they host the note, they actually show you a little snapshot of how the business is doing. You can get things like their revenue, gearing ratio, their net profit margins, net profits too. So if you know how to look into fundamentals, you can have a look at how healthy the company is doing. And yeah, it's in the fact sheet. Next thing I like. So I really like that it is an alternative investment where we can just put our money on autopilot where we don't really need to look at it. So if you use the Autobot feature, it will just invest your money into notes automatically according to your preferences set in the filter. 
Another thing that I like is that it uses FPX payments. So if you wanted to deposit money into funding societies, you can do it pretty fast as well. And there are other options like a transfer through your internet banking services. And I think there's one more option. I'm forgetting what it is, but there are options for you to deposit money into the account. I think the last thing I really like about funding societies is that in the case of a default, so defaults do happen, meaning when the businesses fail to pay you your interest or pay you your money back, something went awry there, something didn't go as planned. There is a system in place by funding societies where they can recover the money as best as they can, where they start to negotiate with the business that has defaulted on what they can do. It's like reducing the interest charge to them or prolonging the period of repayments. So there is a system in place and that comforts me slightly. I guess I'll get into the cons right now. So the first con is actually when I have a look at the fact sheet, sometimes I see that the businesses are actually run in a very volatile manner for some of them. So one year the revenue and the profit could be doing pretty well and then the next it could be making a complete loss. And that really shows when you look at the net profit margin, how much money are they making really when they make a sale it fluctuates really highly. So as a value investor, it is pretty scary to see this sort of figures. And what really scares me is that the Autobots as a filter is not super powerful that you can actually choose which companies that you want to invest in according to their net profit margins or whether it's according to making continuous profit from at least two years onwards. You cannot do that currently, but I would love to see that as a feature in the upcoming few years down the line. Another con that is really, really a big concern for me is that when I have attempted to invest in a business term financing note on a manual option where I'm not using the auto bot, the first time I actually invested was through the manual option. And when I tried to subscribe to that investment. I clicked it at the time it was released, but 30 seconds later the website glitched and I clicked it again and the note was fully subscribed, meaning I guess the auto bots were super fast or someone out there has a really fast computer and hyper fast clicking speed. So I don't think it is easy to invest manually. You need to rely on the auto bots. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, I could be wrong, but yeah, that's my experience so far. Another thing that is a con for me is that I hear that the default rates are going up. Right now they're at 1.22% and it has gone up since the last time I looked at it. The last time it was around 0.95% a couple of months ago and that could be due to a number of reasons, whether it is that their criteria for lending to businesses has become less strict or less stringent it could also be that the economy could be yeah in a recession and businesses aren't doing as well right now so the rate of defaults tend to be higher in this kind of economic climate another con could be the high minimum deposit which costs 1000 ringgit when you invest in funding societies you need to put at least 1000 ringgit to be able to start becoming an investor so even though you can put as little as 100 ringgit per note, you need 1000 ringgit in your entire funding society's portfolio to start off with. So that could be a hurdle for a lot of people. And yeah, I guess that is the second last con for me. The major con, I guess, would be that if I spent so much time looking at the fact sheet and pouring through all this detailed information, I could be actually using that time to look at better companies that are listed on the stock exchange. So for me, I invest in Bursa stocks on the Malaysian stock market. And if I dedicated the time to look at better companies, I could be earning higher returns, whether it's in terms of capital appreciation over time over a long period of time, 
or whether it's in terms of dividends that I'll be getting at, I don't know, at intervals depending on a company in a year. So if it were me, I would just leave, yeah, actually this is what I'm doing right now. I just leave it up to the Autobots. I push my filter to as powerful a limit as I can put it currently right now. And I just don't really look at the notes that I subscribe to. And I just let the Autobot do its thing. And I use that time, which is precious to me, to look at alternative investments. So as an autopilot, investment vehicle, funding societies is something that I would use. Whether I would put more money in it, maybe, maybe I would. Let's just see how it goes. I've only been invested in this maybe three months. I want to see how it performs over a longer period of time before I actually put in a bit more money. So the verdict is what I would actually say to people. Yeah, invest your money in funding societies, but don't over invest. Put in what you can afford to lose. Obviously, you don't want to lose that money. But if you really care about investing, there are other platforms out there which are also autopilot investment platforms that could be making you money in a less risky sort of way. So yeah, that is the verdict of funding societies. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am not sponsored, but I do have a referral link that I will link down below. So I don't know what is the deal for actually this referral link. So just look down below in the description and it will tell you exactly what I get and what you will get. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.